Hey guys, it's Ashley and for today's video I wanted to do a little sit down video talking about life um, but before I get into the video please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts and opinions about um, what I'm about to go into. Let's dive in. Dive in. This happened two weeks ago like right after, it was a Saturday right after I finished teaching my last class of the day and I had this personal trainer and she came in to take my class and like she never ever takes my class I'm like oh you know like what's the occasion and, like you just kind of popped up but and this is like what I'm thinking and so like after class you know I go up to her I'm just like well how was it did you like it uh, did you get what you came for out of it was it a good class you know and she's like yeah it was great it was amazing blah 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 this is just what I need I really need to get back into yoga so and then she just starts asking me a million a million questions about my life how I'm living my life and the first question that just like ooh, like hit me in the stomach was are you gonna do yoga forever because you know it's not like a lifestyle thing you can't do this forever and it's just like yo this is like everything that I stand for this is what I've been doing I've been doing probably teaching yoga two or three years now I don't even know but I've been doing yoga since 2015 when I turned 18. So now I'm 21. So I've been doing it probably four years teaching for two, you know, just, I don't know, but. So you guys have the timeline of this, but I mean, doing something for four years, it kind of, you know, starts to attach to you. You start to, I don't want to say attach because, you know, I'm not practice non attachments when you're in yoga, but like, it starts to, be, it is a lifestyle. Like, this is what I have incorporated into my lifestyle, my well being, and how I feel my best life is lived is with yoga and for her just to say that is just like wow um i could question you you look about 40 years old like why are you still doing personal training like there is no age limit on what you want to do in your life if you want to be young the youngest person to do it then do it if you want to be the oldest person there's, there's just no set time we are all living this life at the same time we have different journeys, different things we're going through, but this time is constant. It's kind of like something we all agreed about with time. Like that's how we, I don't know, keep track of things is with time. But it's just to put it in perspective, if you want to do YouTube and you see one guy makes one video and it goes viral, it might take you a hundred videos before you go viral. It's about, I don't know, I really don't know. It's, it's honestly about luck. It's about how much you believed in yourself in that moment or how much like maybe this guy is just like, this is going to be so great, I'm going to get so many views. And when you post your first video, you're just like, I'm shy and I don't know. But it's really about manifestation and law of attraction and stuff like what you attract. But anyway, there's just no set path of how to do things basically. Um, it just kind of happens. We're just kind of learning as we go. And I don't know, it just kind of hit home and just like, wow, like for somebody to say that, I'm like, I thought I was done with that. Like when I was doing yoga and I was still like working at like this retail store, just for people like just to comment about your life, people have no right, no business to be asking you about that. How would you feel if somebody just came up and just asked you everything like, how's your family? Do you, are you close with your family? Do you do this? You know, you really shouldn't be doing it that way. You need to do it this way. And then like, the one thing was she asked me, she's like, I, you know, she told me, I can see you as a physical therapist and, you know, going to school to do that because you're a really intelligent black girl. This lady's black too, by the way. But it's just like, I chose yoga and I chose to do Reiki because they were certification programs. Um, you pay as you go, basically, to get your education. Like, I have no debt right now except my car. And I'm only 21. I thought that was the best lifestyle and life decision for me to make. It may be different for you, but that's why I chose to do yoga because, you know, pay as I go and I can continue to be in the profession while I'm learning. See? So, I don't know. I'm just thinking, well, were you going to pay for my schooling to be a physical therapist? Because I actually, it did cross my mind. What if I did become a physical therapist? But the years and hours it would take to go into the schooling and whatever and the tuition, that's like what really hits your pockets and like what really hits you when you decide to go to school. And I wanna travel. I wanna see the world. I wanna I don't know, I wanna 
wherever my life takes me and I don't want to be bound to having to go back to a school or I don't know, maybe even an online school if life gets too busy and I don't have time for school anymore and like you wasted all this money trying to get into it, you know? But I'm kind of spontaneous when it comes to that and I don't know. She's just asking me like, well, you know yoga doesn't cover like healthcare and stuff like that and just like if you were to like if I walked out of this building like right after, after we finished this conversation and I got hit by a car would healthcare matter I'm like what if I died after it it would not matter I'd be dead like what's the point of like you know and like just being cautious and being like scary about your life it's just like things can happen out of nowhere like you can't plan what happens in life and it's just like you just have to live it thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm glad you made it to the end of the video just let me know in the comment section what you think about people trying to dictate your life or telling you how you're living it wrong and a way that you would cope or like turn the conversation around because like that's kind of something that I don't want to say I'm struggling with but I'm working to fix is when people try to talk down about me in my life how do I change it on them or how do I make it end on a positive note so let me know what you think I love you guys so much peace